Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, today I'm going to share from the Good Tarot. And I always feel like uh, on this twin flame path, it is so... Um, Oh, it always feels like it's I'm always coming on saying well it's been tricky times recently and it's been challenging um, but because they walk a different you know a path that isn't the norm let's say to help you shine your light to help you find your own inner light and often that happens through solitude and through being on your own and so whatever situation you're in you might find yourself like me having been on being put into a situation where you're on your own for quite a length of time but without that you wouldn't have the inner learning but also that is very difficult isn't it because our human nature is to want to be together in in like community and in pairs and in couples and then you know you know all of that so yeah this twin flame path isn't easy so, but here we go. We're going to go with some good tarot to say, okay, what do we need to know to help us? Oh, look at that, the high priestess. <laughs> Just as I was saying, you know, we wouldn't, you know, if those times, if you're like me and you have been put into side, sort of like going your own way um, <clears throat> for quite a considerable length of time, then that's all about being able to trust and listen to your intuition and keep on going, keep listening to your intuition, no matter what else happens. So my intuition today was telling me the number 45, 45, 45. And so I am going to read Divine Love Letters 45. So these are all channelings between people's twins and their higher selves that I was guided to do. And I have to tell you, um, so I was guided, I watched The Notebook. And uh, so pretty much everyone has probably watched The Notebook. But after that, uh, my intuition told me, OK, we're ready for you to start writing letters. And um, I'd never done any channeling before. I, in fact, didn't even know what they were talking about. So I was and they were like, do it now, do it now, do it now. So I say they because I have no idea what, it, you know, the, the greater universe, the higher power the the love basically and um <clears throat> the love vibration and uh so i was like uh okay and i just um put so they just said said to me get your pen get paper and uh i was like okay <laughs> and as with everything i was kind of like completely like okay didn't really know what was going to happen and then just these letters just flowed and that's when I started channeling letters for people and this morning you um for those of you who have watched the notebook there is a scene in the film where he takes her where they come together again and he takes her out to where there are loads and loads of white ducks and this morning I was guided to go to this particular park, went to this park, and there was, I sort of walked around this corner, and suddenly there were loads and loads of white swans all coming together, a bit like in that film. Loads of them. I've never seen so many swans. And swans are a, kind, a, a sign of, of true love, a, 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 a sign of the twin spirit. And so I was like, OK, <laughs> OK, because I was like, you know, as we all probably do on this path, so many times question, really, am I really to keep on going? Am I really to keep on going? Can I not just do a different way because it might be a little bit easier? <laughs> But, you know, and there it was. I walked around the corner and then suddenly there were all of these white swans. So um, and then afterwards, I kept seeing the number 45. So this is the message for today. And it is firstly, trust in you. Linking back to the high priestess, of course. Trust in your own inner guidance. Know that if you are feeling drawn to something, it's because it's your inner soul calling you to it. And your inner soul is you and me. That's the other thing. Remember that it's we and not you. We are guiding each other. 
So anything that you are drawn to do, then just go for it because it's us helping each other back to us. I know that might seem crazy, but the more you think that your inner guidance and intuition is our joint map, our joint navigation system back to each other. Basically, the shortest route on GPS is picking us to guide us home. So in short, you is we and we is us, and us is you and you is us. There is nothing but us ever. Follow what feels right. Follow the path that leads you back to you, to us, to we, to truth, to love, to life. Oh my God. So ties in with what I was saying at the beginning as well, that we wouldn't be you know, put in these like periods of like completely like being solo basically for such a long time. So I wish you could settle into your heart and just put focus on the love that we have for each other and how we feel for one another. When we focus on the love, then everything else seems to pale into insignificance because we are already together. Everything else is just pieces of our jigsaw coming together. We are part of a bigger plan a bigger jigsaw and all the pieces and elements need to be mapped out according to the divine plan for all of us. Focus on how you feel about me in your heart. I know that our love is strong enough to see us through. It's strong enough to pull us together. It's strong enough for me to overcome my fears. Believe me, our time is coming. Okay, so let's, <clears throat> so keep on going. 45. Is there are so many things that I'd love to tell you. Share my intimate thoughts, share intimate moments. I just cannot wait for the moment in time that means we will be brought back together. You know that it's written in the stars. There's really nothing we can do to speed it up apart from trusting in our hearts, trusting in our process. We are all on our own individual soul journey. But you have to know that all of your journeys end up at the same destination, the place where home is. And home is in your heart. You are my home. Oh. Okay, well, I can see why 45 had to come through today. So there we go. That is the message for today. I hope wherever you are, then I really hope that helps for you. Um, I am planning on starting to doing channelings again from tomorrow so if you're waiting for a channeling or a reading uh, then I am starting again as of tomorrow because I'm feeling back in the vibes all right then um, but in the meantime I hope you stay well stay bright and stay switched on to the light see ya bye